Hi guys, welcome back to Cooking with the Bearded Brit Chef. And today, we're going to cook this. This is a three kg octopus, okay? So, we're gonna learn how to cook this. And we're gonna serve it with uh, chorizo and potato, so a saute mix and a beetroot puree, okay? So first things first, I got this one from, uh, from, from, my, from my friend here, Tim. Okay, you can hook him up, meet DXB. I'll uh, add him in the end. And basically it's already clean, so normally what you do, you have to clean inside the head, it's full of ink, and obviously it says part of its head, brain, etc. So what you do, then here, underneath, inside, you'll find the beak, which I've just taken out. You just hook it out with a knife. And then you've just got to remove its eyes. Obviously I'm not gonna film that, guys, because it's not the nicest thing to see. And then I'm gonna show you how to cook it, okay? So I've just taken the head off. You can still eat the head, providing you clean inside it, wash it really well, make sure there's no dirt or ink or anything in there, obviously all, all its um, innards are, are clean as well. Take its eyes, discard those, take the beak, discard those. And then you're left with the base of the prize, which is these beautiful things here. These are its eight tentacles, okay? They're lovely, that's normally what you find in restaurants. I mean, they are things of beauty, really. Anyway, so, uh, how it works is, we're gonna cook it in a pan from cold, I'm going to bring the water up to a boil, and then we're going to simmer it. Because this is almost 3 kg, it's so about 2.8 kg, it's going to probably take around 40 minutes to an hour to cook. We're also going to put a few other little bits inside. We're going to put some lemon, some bay leaf as well, and a bit of black pepper, and that's it. And that's just going to infuse and give it some flavouring while it's cooked. Okay? So I've just put a lemon in there, half a lemon, I'll just cut it in two. Two bay leaves, some salt and pepper. I'm just going to put a little bit of olive oil as well in there. Helps to tenderize the meat. And I'm going to fill up to the top with water. And this one we cooked here for between 40 minutes to an hour, but you can also check it. Take the thickest part of the octopus, if your knife goes inside it easily, like, like a piece of butter or something like that, then it's perfect and it can be taken out to be grilled or stewed afterwards. So, meanwhile, whilst your octopus is cooking here in the pan, we're just going to make the garnish. So, what you need is um, for your sauteed potatoes, a little bit of chorizo, some fresh thyme leaf picked, three garlic cloves, small knob of butter, and then I've just cooked some obviously some potatoes here. Just and then they're, they're not diced, they're just rough cubes. Okay, parboiled. Okay, then we're gonna saute them later on. And then what I've also done in advance, I cooked some beetroot again in tin foil uh, in the oven till it was soft. And then what we're going to do with that, we're going to blitz it with a little bit of butter and some stock and we're going to make a puree. So the octopus has had around 50 minutes to an hour. Just short of an hour, 55 minutes. And it's ready, so there we are. So we're now going to drop it into cold water here, start the cooking process. And then we're just going to take out the head as well. Okay. I'll show you how to make the garnish. So in a hot pan, take a tablespoon, and a half of olive oil, good quality olive oil. Not extra virgin, but olive oil. Extra virgin is for dressings. So, make sure it's nice and hot. And go in with your pot cooked potatoes. If you don't hear that noise, it means the pan's not hot enough. Now leave them. People always think if you move a pan, it's gonna cook quicker, it's not. What you're actually doing is cooling it down. So leave them, they'll get color. So if you come have a look, you can see the potatoes are starting to get a little bit of colour. That's when you go inside now with your butter and your garlic and your thyme. I'm also going to put a bit of smoked paprika as well in there and some chorizo. This is, now you can move it to incorporate it. I mean, look at the colours of there. Chorizo and octopus, and paprika goes very, very well. There's a Spanish dish, which is very, very similar to this. And don't forget, always season as you go. Never at the end, always season constantly. This will add all the flavor, and that's how you get complexity of flavor. It's feeling great now, and the potatoes are just about cooked, so we're gonna add a bit of lemon juice. 
head of the octopus. Just going to cut this into strips. Okay. We'll saute that off. And then, going to take the tentacles. I'm just going to cut them into eight separate portions. Normally when you go to a restaurant you get sort of one, one tentacle or maybe two, depends on which restaurant it is. I think, I think this one here has had an accident whilst he's uh, been swimming. <laughs> and I personally think the best way to have an octopus is grilled. You can just scrape off a bit of this stuff here, it's fine. The best way to have an octopus is to, I think, grill. Um, some people say in a stew is also good. Me, personally, I think it, it, it warrants a barbecue. And, um, and yeah, that's the best way to have it. The are ready. We're gonna go inside with some chopped parsley, flat leaf parsley. Look at that colors there. We can set this aside now. Let me just get a charcoal grill pan like this. Obviously, if you've got a barbecue, even better. If you haven't, these griddle pans here are great. And that's what we're going to get really smoking hot, and that's where we're going to cook the octopus. So here you can see I've just put some olive oil on it. I'm going to season it up now. Salt, pepper. I'm going to just massage it and get all the flavours into there. See, the pan is smoking hot. So we go and smoke in our pan with the octopus. You want to get a real nice char on it as well. So let's have a look, see what we got here. So it's got a large and caramelized there. That's what you want. Just going to turn it over. Get the same effect on the other side. Really nice, huh? Get it out. Get it out, put it lay on a plate. And then this is the opportunity now. Now put some olive oil on it. Please. And then what we're going to do, we're going to get some fresh lime zest. We're going to grate some fresh lime on a really fine microplane grater like this. So now we're going to finish and plate up. So I made this beetroot puree, literally as I said, it's just cooked down beetroots in an oven, olive oil and salt. And I've then blitzed it with butter and a little bit of vegetable stock. I used a thermo mix to blitz it. So we're gonna go inside now. We're gonna put a dollar bit on the plate like that. In the center, it doesn't have to be perfect. Put the beetroot puree in the bottom of the plate like that. We'll take these lovely sauteed potatoes, just off center. I'm just gonna do a little small pile of them like this. Make sure you get all the bits of chorizo in there, the garlic, lemon juice, all the flavors in there, really good. Okay. So now I'm gonna finish it with some more fresh lime. And also some locally grown pea shoots as well. I feel that these bring a little bit of freshness to the dish. These shoots. So, a few of those. There you have it. Grilled octopus with sauteed potatoes and chorizo and beetroot puree. Enjoy.